everybody, it's Anna, lovely with lard at Sober Mesa Farm Kitchen. And today we are going to do another fun recipe, quick, easy recipe using lard. And as I've said before in other videos, this lard is from our farm and we love using it. Today's recipe comes from my dear, sweet Grandma Cleo, call her Grams. And I am going to be making Grandma Cleo's lard pie crust. And here are the following ingredients that you are going to need to gather and get ready to make this quick, easy, simple recipe. Now that you have all your ingredients ready to go, have it all in front of you, got your mise en place ready to go, making sure that you have everything that you need, we're gonna go ahead and get started on mixing all of the ingredients together. So here we go. Here we are, we have two cups of flour, all purpose flour, and into that flour, we're going to add two tables, teaspoons, I'm sorry, of salt, and then we're going to add two thirds cup of lard. This lard is from our Magnalista pigs and we have rendered it down. If you can see how white it is, it's so pure and such a good fat. So we're gonna go ahead and add that all into here. And with my pastry cutter, I'm gonna go ahead and work that lard into my flour. And as you can see, I'm just twisting the wrist, pushing down, twisting the wrist, cleaning it off every once in a while so that way the lard doesn't get built up with the flour. And we want to do it enough to where it resembles gravel, like a small pea gravel. Turning the bowl often. All right, so we got that all mixed in, cut in. And now we're gonna add ice cold water. Make sure that this water is ice cold. The reason that we wanna keep it ice cold is so that it does not melt the lard. We wanna keep the lard nice and cold. And to this, I usually add a couple tablespoons at a time. I mix it, kinda of see where I'm at. And once I get that batch incorporated, I go ahead and add a little bit more water to this until I feel like I get the right consistency. All right, let's go ahead and add this water in here. Now, when you're making the pie dough, you wanna make sure that you don't over mix it. So we're just kinda really being gentle with it. We're not beating it by any means. Just kinda folding it in and periodically checking it to see where we're at. And eventually I get to a certain point where I like to use my hands to kind of form it together into a ball. And as you can see, it's still very dry so I'm gonna to need to add some more water to it, which I am out. So if you give me a second, I will be right back. I'm gonna get a little bit more water here. And then we'll add a couple more tablespoons of water to this to try to see if we can't find the right consistency that we're looking for. Now, you need to be very careful and add just a little bit of water at a time because um, we don't wanna to have too much water to this mixture. So with my hands, I'm gonna go ahead and hand mix this, knead it in together. That way I, I like to do it with my hands at the end just because I can feel the consistency of the dough and I know where I wanna be at. And go ahead and just keep on mixing that, the last two tablespoons here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this around with my hand and we want to just want to form a ball. See how this is all coming together. So nice and so beautiful. And here we go. We 
we got all this dough ready to go. And now we're ready to move on to our next step. Now that the dough has formed into a ball, we're going to go ahead and get some saran wrap and get ready to put it in the refrigerator so it can rest. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab a big old thing of saran wrap, which is usually not my favorite thing in the world because it never goes anywhere I want it to go. And we're gonna take this ball of dough that we formed and we're gonna put it inside our saran wrap. And let me tell you, the best thing about this is the smell. The smell of lard pie dough brings back so many childhood memories for me and I love just taking a little bit and tasting it because that too, just instant memories flooding back. Now, when I put this into the refrigerator, I'm going to kind of smash it down just a little bit into a disc and I'm going to let it rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. 30 minutes minimum because we want it to rest and get nice and hard again, cold, um, for that lard to get hard inside that pie crust. And from there, this will form about two crusts. So you can have, if you're making a double crusted pie, you have the bottom and the top with some leftovers, or you can make two different pies. My grandma used to make a whole bunch of pie doughs in advance and put them in disposable um, pie pans, and then she would then freeze them and then pull them out whenever she needed them. And that was a really, she gave them to my mom. She always had them on hand, so that way we always were able to make pies quickly whenever we wanted to. There's so many things that you can do with pie dough. There's so many things. Um, pie, obviously. There's another thing when we have leftovers, we used to call them pie crust cookies. And all it is is the leftover dough from the pie after you've trimmed it and you put a little cinnamon sugar in there, throw it in the oven, amazing. They're still one of my favorite little treats to have hanging around after I've done some pie. You can make tarts quiche and there's you can also make homemade pop tarts amazing things such a simple easy thing takes minutes to put together and you have you're on your way to a savory dish or to a yummy dessert so from our house to your house may you have the most amazing blessed day we'll see you next time mm -hmm.